Hello everyone, this is Pamper2. A couple days ago I found this this thing here. It's a General Electric power meter from 1913. Uh, they made these from 1903 to 1913 and this one was dated inside. The person who had installed it had signed and dated the inside with a, a pencil or something. Um, this is a 5 amp unit, a type 1. This is, it says right here, Thomason High Torque Induction Meter, number 1179944, type 1. Then down here, General Electric Company, USA, volts 100 to 110, cycle 60, amp 5. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. Get these uh, wing nuts off here. This is all, I think, brass, and I'd like to polish it up and maybe uh, touch up the paint if it's not that rare. Just make it look nice. That'd be fun to even install it somewhere and have it run. Being only five amps, I can't do much with it, but let's take off the cover. There's two pieces of glass, original glass, I think. Here's the inside. Go ahead and tilt this up. What I find most amazing to me is the gears. For some reason, 100 year old gears just seem amazing. <laughs> but there's all the working bits. Yeah, two wires go in here and two wires come out here, single phase. And I think with just a, a little bit of um, fixing, it, this might actually work still. You can hear it kind of rubbing up against something so I might just need an adjustment but everything else looks really good inside all the yucky parts are on the outside uh, I don't know if we can get a good picture oh yeah there's the date 5 6 1913 does it say Alex can't read that very well but yeah if anyone has any more information about this I'd like to restore it and possibly install it. Get my, uh, come on. There we go. Well, hope you enjoyed my video. On the back of the unit, there's um, some paperwork that had been glued, and over time is starting to decay and fall off. I'm very careful when handling this, but um, I had to the um, specifications, 5 amps, and the volts and cycles and everything. In the fine print you have all your patents and everything. If I can get a little closer here, it's not a, not a really good close-up camera. You see some patents from May 19th, 1889, all the way up to July 14th, 1903. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.